against the truck yep. once we get this. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me. Alright, one, two, three, let's pull. Alright, lay down. Good to see you, Warren. How you doing? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Um, the ambulance should all be fully stocked up, so nothing needs changed on there. Uh, you'll be partnered up with him. He's just currently uh, out of his head currently. Do we get new funding? Because I have no idea how many engines are behind you. Uh, yeah, the, those two are just reserve ones. Uh, they're not... <laughs> Oh yeah, the third one, I'm not, I think one of the other guys brought that down. They had a, a training in the back lot there today, so some of the other stations came over here to kind of do it back there. Alright. What's the location of the fire? Uh, you, sir, I want you to go ahead and bring uh, the rescue. It's going to be uh, Vanilla Unicorn. Medic pull uh, far off to the side. Uh, we're going to have you uh, just remain as medic. No need for RIT team. Uh, Commander Rescue, you're going to be primary rapid intervention team. Engine 32-7 is on scene. Incident command to law enforcement, can I please have an immediate response to the Vanilla Unicorn just for scene safety? Uh, we need uh, a couple of these alleyways blocked off. Ten four rescue. Uh, if you can go ahead and get uh, fire axe and some irons, uh, bust out any windows you can, so we can start uh, a level uh, division one uh, ventilation. Command station seven, please route me a ladder uh, truck company. Uh, when you get on scene, I would like the truck company positioned directly behind engine seven. Uh, we're gonna get that ladder propulsed up to the roof. Ten four, command duty officer two. We got uh, water flowing from the tanker. Ten four, all lines and is Copy. If we need additional water, it looks like we're gonna have a hydrant uh, just off of Strawberry Avenue here on the Bravo side. Copy that. Uh, command to uh, engine company. Uh, if we can go ahead and get a attack line uh, started, we need to get in that interior of the building. Rescue, if you want to go up in with engine. Uh, copy. Yeah, if you want to pull an attack line off of engine seven, and he'll pull one off of engine six. Uh, 10 4, they're going to be going in now. Uh, whenever ladder company gets here, they're going to focus on roof ventilation. For right now, uh, both engine companies and the rescue company are going to be going in uh, for uh, primary attack. Command to medic, you're going to be on standby for uh, RIT team while rescue is inside the building. Command, we do have a uh, door on the Charlie side of the structure on the very left. 
Uh, if we can get somebody to head back there to check that door and see if it's accessible. Ten four. If you want to go inside the structure with the engines and rescues, I'll set it up. All right, guys, you got everything? All right. Ready, yep. All right. Let's push in. All right. Just stay single file. Stay on each other. Make sure your flashlights are on. Clear the whole structure. Copy. <laughs> lots of locals uh, coming out of the structure. All right, command the interior. You have plenty of water coming. We've got a hydrant hooked up, so we're on infinite access right now. Copy. Let's get a heavy interior attack. Uh, we've got ladder company. They're going to prep a line to go up on the roof if needed. Command to interior. Can we get a conditions update? Copy. Uh, water supply is still good. Command to San Andreas. Can you please contact Ellis DWP? We need an immediate response. Uh, we need all power shut down to the uh, block here. Uh, so far, I've got nothing showing from the Delta side. Uh, Charlie side, I can see smoke coming out of an HVAC unit on the rear of the building. Bravo and Alpha side are clear. Command duty officer two, what's your location? I'm gonna be in the main area where there's flames under the stage trying to execute at this moment in time. Copy that. Uh, commands to... Stand by. Alright, command to duty officer 2. Uh, if the crew in there uh, is good, um, after that flame start to get knocked back, uh, let's pull them out and we're going to need to go up on the roof here so we can start ventilation. Copy that. Alright, uh, command to engine team. You can pack up, uh, just set your lines down for now. Keep them charged in case we have to go back in for another fire. Uh, rescue, if you want to go back in, just do another clearance of the structure. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, as of right now, truck company is going to set up the ladder so we can go up on their structure. Uh, negative. We're going to set up the trunk company now, um, get them going on the roof here. You're clear. Keep shifting it. Keep shifting it. All right. That should be good there. Hold position.
Alright, uh, Command the Engine, once you have your equipment packed up, uh, if you want to go ahead and just harness up, we're going to get you with the truck company up on the roof. Uh, go ahead and grab a Halligan, as well as a Vent Boss saw, so we can start cutting some holes. Alright, uh, if you want to go ahead to the Bravo Charlie corner, the back left, uh, where that the main part of the fire was, just go ahead and start cutting some holes over that way. I'm going to check this side of the structure. Uh, command all units, just be advised, power to the building has been cut, uh, so you are safe to operate. Command. I've uh, found a door over here. Uh, is that going to be on the Division 2 or Division 1? Division 2. 10 4, if you want to see if it opens up and see what's in there. Ten four, you're good to go ahead and pack up. Uh, all the HVAC units are clear, and the sides clear over here. Uh, you can go ahead back down the ladder and start overhaul. Command of San Andreas, structure fire is going to be under control at this time. Uh, you can go ahead and stand down any transfer units. Command to all units that went inside of the structure uh, before beginning overhaul, please report to the medic unit for rehab. Once again, command to any unit that was operating on the interior of the structure, please report to the medic for rehab. Gotcha. I can, uh, I'll finish rolling up the hose lines while you go get checked out. Okay. All right. Thanks, yep, no worries. Thanks for your good communication. I'll be back in a minute. Chief, did you get everything packed up? Uh, yeah, he's getting the last supply line packed up. Um, if you wanted to, they broke out a lot of these windows and doors. Uh, so if you wanted to just go around and if you see anything on the ground, just help me sweep it up. Alright, yeah, there's another, I got the broom here off the engine, there should be another one on that engine down there. Okay, if the medic is clear, just tell them to go to it. Oh, oh, okay, I thought somebody was with it. Um, it was probably just parked up on the side of the street then, and a local probably hit it or something. Okay, um, uh, well, finished, so yeah, if you just want to check around for any final tools that might be laying around, uh, I gotta give a quick call to the fire marshal to get them to come down here and investigate why this happened okay. um, and then get this here
We should be all good after that. You can probably tell the medic they can clear off then. Alrighty, I'm gonna just walk back through the building once more and just make sure we didn't leave anything behind. Hey, uh, Kate. Yes? Um, the rescue guy's out of his head, so if you want to grab a couple box fans off the rescue truck and just place them in the doorways so that we can get air, fresh air flowing back into this thing. Alright. Alrighty, thank you. You guys need to, uh, play to roll out. We've got no more medical assistance that we need. Um, go to the hospital, stock up on some supplies. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Have a good day, guys.